All right, let me get set up. Good morning, everyone. We are here today for You Versus You. This is our third week in. Make sure that you have your sheet and your weights, and we're going to get moving. So I am joined by Moira today. We're going to go ahead and start off with some narrow squats just to start warming up here. You have to really go deep diving for the good music on here. You must have really <laughs> spent some time on this. <laughs> good, let's go a little bit wider. I I know like the keywords that I like um, for this. And so I will type in something and then I'll look under what it's like categorized under. And I'm like, oh, yeah. that's, yeah. <laughs> Be out here. All right, let's go lateral touchdown. Step out that foot out, touchdown center. Keep that pelvis stable. My body already turned out from yesterday. All right, reverse lunge to a twist. Let's step back, down, and turn. Remember to distribute that weight to those big toes, get that big toe flexibility here. I've been really working on it, but my big toe is really angry at me. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> I went through that for like a really long time and then I stopped, um, I think you're in like your running season, right? Well, it's like the dancing stuff mostly, but yeah. Okay. Well, I took, I've taken off quite a bit of time from running and it's gone away, but it was definitely like really bothering me. All right, heel taps in the front. Uh, it's that back. fine line of like removing the things that are bothering you, but also you need to keep it moving. And so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a really hard time like not doing those things, but it got cold and I got a lot of work lately. <laughs> so this hasn't worked out. But hopefully when I return to running here soon, it um, doesn't bother me again. Our competition is the first weekend of December, so I'm sure to then I'll be able to chill out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. How often do you guys practice? Um, usually just the, the teams, we just do once a week, but this coming, like, recently we've had some extra practices to gear up for it, so. All right, let's go one, two, three, and touch. Reaching down, keep those toes facing towards the ground, hips down too. Don't let those hips turn up as you reach down. Because ah, I fall over. That's <laughs> I was yesterday. I was like, okay, guys, we're going to do the airplane at the very end. And I was just like falling all over. I was like, don't do it like that. <laughs> <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. All right, let's fucking squat down and pivot up. Right here, bring those arms out, around, and back up. Pivot that foot. We always tell our youngest, like, to motivate her to go to daycare is that, like, oh, you don't want to miss the school bus. Well, there's no school. <laughs> there's no school right now. Touchdown center to overhead. And my husband was, like, talking to her, and he's like, oh, we got to go. We got to get on the bus. And then she's like, there is no bus today. And she sits there and watches her television. And, like, oh. and there you have it. <laughs> Squat down, hip flex, stand up. I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot what day of the week it was. And I was like, oh, it's Tuesday. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh I wish I could forget. <laughs> I'm like, why do I get a break? All right, let's go ahead and open up the hips a little bit before we get started today. Knee up, out, around, and down. Hold on to something if you need to. Remember on this one, we're not rotating the hips to the side. We're just going within our range of motion. Do three and then switch sides. Ooh. All right, let's go um, arms and first. Sorry, I'm just taking over the warm up. <laughs> I have a routine. Oh yeah, down. no, I was letting you. I was just like, I'm following <laughs> you. <laughs> Over and under. It's like the Do same routine every time. 
I say we do the same movements, but we do a slightly different order. <laughs> yeah. Side to side. Probably throws I, the moms off all the time. <laughs> I know, every time I because right, because I teach 40 days a week, and then whenever I go into your class, I'm always like, that's not right, it's not right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, when are we going to do the pivot? <laughs> How do I get there, Sabrina? <laughs> I know, I know. You do, you do get there. <laughs> We're just keeping their minds alive too by you know keeping them on their toes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Take it across. <sighs> this will be good. I needed this workout class today. It's so hard to like wake up first thing in the morning and jump right into work. It's like I'm not mentally ready. My husband was asking me, he's like, do you work tomorrow? And I was like, it's Wednesday. Because <laughs> he gets off. And I was like, yes, it works. He's like, oh, yeah, I have a lot of work anyways. And I was like, get out of here. <laughs> do you work tomorrow? <laughs> Eric's leading up to like the finals and stuff like that. So, oh, pigeon walk. <laughs> oh, no. They don't have school tomorrow though. Like he doesn't have class, so yeah. There's at least that. I'm gonna go grab that. All right, five inch worms. Add a push up if you're feeling spicy. You do not have to though. It's up to you. <laughs> Some days I feel so good at these push ups. Most days I feel really good. Some days I feel like I'm like just concrete. Trying to push myself back up. Right, you're doing five of these. When you're done, go ahead and finish warming up whatever you need to. And then we'll get moving. Gotta open up this window that's freaking hot. I was just gonna say, it's really warm in my basement, and so I was like, I need a water. <laughs> yeah. All right, first exercise will be hamstring glute bridge. It's November, it is November, okay. Hamstring glute bridge, grab the weight that you normally use. Remember for this one that those feet will be further away from you. Right here, up, back down. You're holding that weight over your pelvic bone here. I guess your hip bone. Don't do it on the pelvic bone. <laughs> And we're gonna go ahead for the modification here. You can be right here, use the weight, hold on to that weight, come up, and then squeeze, but don't thrust for it, all right? So those are your two options here. We're gonna start off with that hamstring glute bridge. So the timer's gonna go down, grab the weight that you're gonna use, and then let's get moving. I had, what? I can't be right, I had 55 reps last time. <laughs> What did y'all have? What was I doing? <laughs> Breast game is strong. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> All right. Can we give that on a t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Breast game is strong. Let's go. <laughs> New girl from FC Training. <laughs> <sighs> We should all be on break. <laughs> I'm like still envisioning the merch. It needs to be like, you know, when the early 2000s, everybody had the writing on their thumbs. Oh my gosh. Um, yes. All I'm gonna say is I'm already at 30. <laughs> Halfway there. <laughs> You're so professional. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> 
Remember to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I'm laughing so much. <laughs> Like one of those skits on SNL when they just start cracking up and there's like no hope for them and they can't stop. <laughs> right, they can't bring it back. Whew. Oh my gosh, my hamstrings. Oh, they're cramping. Ten seconds. Rest. Sixty six. <laughs> Thrust game strong. <laughs> Still strong. All right. Next is Turkish get up. So for that Turkish get up, you're gonna get that weight up overhead. You're gonna lay down first. Start at the beginning, Laura. With that weight up in the air, coming up to the elbow, up to the wrist. Lifting up, tucking that knee under, up to kneeling, and then all the way up to standing, and then we reverse it back down. Whoa. Alternative is you can just go halfway up, or we can go into that marching. We did this just the other day, right? We can be right here, lifting and out, so that you're forced to use that core to stay stacked and focus on your breathing, whatever you want to do today. All right. 25 pounds last time, that was a mistake. Round two. Here we go. Stay stacked as you're going up, as you're coming down. Control that position. Oh shoot, my weight went off balance and just like went down to my side. <laughs> Lock the arms out. Oh, my core is giving up. I think this is one that I'm just trying to make it through. <laughs> Halfway there. Which side? Oh, <laughs> That's all I have left for me anyway, so I forgot how to do this. I have to start from the bottom. Oh, <laughs> Oh, so Matt keeps wanting to move on me. I don't think you realize how often you use your big toe until it's bothering you. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Honestly, when I had my surgery, um, my partial flexed knee, I didn't even realize how often you use your core until I was like trying <laughs> to put a window down. I was like, nope. <laughs> 10 seconds. Oh my gosh. You suck. <laughs> Rest. <laughs> Probably because okay. your thrust game was so strong before, so you know. I know. Dang, I really came down on that side. Okay, top squats next. Right here, you can either touch down center, like that with the weight, or down and out. All right, remember to squat down when you go down for that pop squat. We're not just bending over. Or you can just do a lateral touch down. Last time we did this, I did 58. I don't know what it is this round. I've just had a hard time keeping track, so <laughs> I'll do better. <laughs> I didn't keep track the first time. All right, here we go. Eight seconds, seven seconds, six seconds, five seconds. Let's see, it's not going that fast. Here we go. It was. Round three. Really quick, up on the toes, back down. What are you doing, Mario? Are you trying to beat
I'm doing it again. I'm holding my breath. Whew. Gotta work on that. Halfway there. Whew. Gosh, my legs. Oh. Ten seconds. Clean to overhead press or just a power clean. Remember this one. Have that weight at your side. Okay, come down into a half squat right here. Use those toes up on them. Overhead press. All right. You can come all the way down from the bottom. Up. Overhead press as well. It's up to you where you were at today. Um, pregnant postpartum athletes. Ooh, newly pressed part of me. Go ahead and skip that. Overhead press, if you have dice taste, some continents, that overhead press might be a little bit too much. Just remember not to lean back as you go into that press. Here we go. Ooh, three seconds. Round four. We'll stay on one side, halfway through we'll switch. Something I'm really proud of when I'm doing the team dancing, we use our upper body for teams. And when I was a kid, my upper body was like not strong. And so I would always get comments about keeping my upper body stronger. And now I'm the one that they're like, do it more like Moira. <laughs> nice. Yes. But they say it nicer than that. <laughs> We're sort of. <laughs> We stand a supportive queen. <laughs> <laughs> but in my head, I'm like, I'm doing it right. Get ready to work on my feet. <laughs> All right, switching. Halfway there. Here we go. So that's the beauty of this kind of training. It makes us stronger for the things we want to do in life. Something kind of cool, one of the ladies on my team, our team spans over 30 years. No, I think it's over 40 years. Because I think the youngest member on our team is in her 20s, and the oldest is in her 70s. Wow. Oh. That's pretty cool. I told her I want to be like her when I grow up. <laughs> 10 seconds. Yeah. Okay. Rest. Good work. Mark that down. Got that sumo squat next. I'm gonna grab a heavier weight. Woo. We're holding that weight. Toes pointing out. Keeping that chest nice and tall and proud. Squatting down and coming back up. Lowering the weight if you need to. Bringing it down to a body weight movement. I'm really focusing on not over tucking that pelvis. And keeping it Remember, if you're getting any pain in your lower back, hips, pelvis, core, anything like that, drop down that weight. Focus on your form first. Quality over quantity. You're not doing anyone any favors. 
by not doing it the right way and gaining that muscle and foundation first. Here we go. Round five. Well, I always have to remember we're busy. We have lives outside of this workout. If we're wrecked for the rest of the day, what good does that do us, you know? Right, right. And then you're more than likely not going yourself the next day. Yep. And that trickles down. So I'd rather scale it back just a little, but be consistent with it. In on the way down, out on the way up. Brady, do you have your Christmas tree up yet? No. Uh, my oldest isn't here right now, so. Oh, that's right. I missed that window. Halfway there. <laughs> I have to wait till she's back. Mine's not up yet either, and I was like talking about putting it up the first week in November, but life. <laughs> yeah, right. It will be up for us by the end of this week, but I'm just not sure what day. <laughs> I lost count. Me too, I'm just moving now. <laughs> You're like, Moira, you talk to me and you move into the county. Ten seconds. Rest. God, if you lost count, just keep your count the same as last week, and then try to beat that next week. All right, dumbbell drive through. We'll be in that plank position. Weight down. You can be on your knees, shifted forward, pull through opposite arm, or we can go ahead and come up into that plank, so a little bit wider in that stance. Hips down, pull through, switch sides. Just keep the hips from riding up as we're pulling through. All right, you can do this that way. You can go to an elevated plank right here and just focus on the stacking, slight curl in that back. <sighs> or you can go into a bird dog. Whatever you wanna do here. Write it down and keep track. <sighs> Eight seconds. Oh. We're skipping one. <laughs> Round six. Go ahead and do this one. Go do this one. And then we'll reverse back to the other. I was like, yeah, right. What up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I skipped one. We'll go back. I did think that felt like it had gone a little quicker than usual. <laughs> but I also hear like a whole bunch of running around upstairs. So I'm like, what are my children doing? <laughs> Pretty sure my husband's up there though. So they're not completely unsupervised. <laughs> they're also old enough to be unsupervised. <laughs> right, right. Just for the internet to no. know. <laughs> my youngest wants to stay home with me. She wants to stop going to daycare. And Patrick was trying to tell her, like, hey, if mom still has to work, like, who would watch you? And then she's like, well, Leia or Cat. <laughs> Halfway there. Oh, scratch people. She was like. <laughs> no, I definitely put the dog away before I came downstairs because I don't trust her not to cause more mischief than the kids. <laughs> that seems to track. <laughs> Whoa, I threw that weight a little too hard. <laughs> Ten seconds. Rest. Oh. 
right. Oh yeah, the grip lock. All right. Yeah. Grip lock is next. So that beautiful grip lock, you're finding those weights. You're curling your hands around them, but you're not using those thumbs. We're keeping those wrists nice. We're not curling them. Mine want to curl so badly right now. Um, <laughs> they want to so badly right now. So I'm just going to demonstrate with one. So we're taking that thumb away and just hanging on, walking around if you need to. I might drop down the weight since mine are already wanting to curl before we even start. <laughs> All right, Josh. We're doing two at a time. I'll call out the where we're at as we're going. Whew, four seconds. Round seven. Yeah, I'm that person that will literally put it down two seconds before we get rest. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not today. All right. Try to beat how long you held out last time. Oh. Oh, are y'all doing that elf on the shelf? No. <laughs> I did that with Alina, and then as soon as she got old enough, I was just like, we're done. <laughs> one fifteen right now. I got, I got one from like one of the neighborhood buy nothing pages last year because my kids mentioned it. And then everybody forgot about it. And so I was just like, right. Oh, okay. we are in a minute. Right there. Oh. Yeah, that did not get better. <laughs> that was hard. Well, probably after those drag first. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to remember, we accidentally changed it up a little bit today, so. <sighs> Funny how the small little adjustments can change an entire workout. Thirty seconds. One arm is way stronger than the other. It's like I say about this. I actually grabbed two different weights, so one's heavier than the other. <laughs> oh no! Oh. All right, ten seconds. Ten seconds. Sorry, guys, I have to put down. Oh. Rest. Oh my gosh. Almost there. All right, next we have towel slammed, or if you have a slam ball, you can use that. If you don't have a slam ball, the holidays are coming. <laughs> so you'll use that slam, you'll take it up over, that slam, that towel, you'll take it up overhead and then back down. I'm using a ball, you're gonna squat down to come to that position. And we're gonna stay stacked as we go up overhead and then down, all right? You can also go into a side one if that feels better for you and where you are at today. All right, almost there. Almost there, I gotta pick up all these weights. I don't know if you guys can see them all, but there are a lot. Wow, Moira. <laughs> Looks like you've done that before. <laughs> Round eight. When I was a child, I had dreams of being like one of those ribbon dancers in the Olympics. I like to go down. And if you come up. Oh, oh my arms are dead. Halfway there. Halfway there.
arm. <laughs> Ten seconds. Oh. Ten seconds. Rest. Good work. Brad jump is next. Find that mark on the floor that you feel comfortable jumping to. Jumping forward, landing with both feet, either walking it or running it back. Option number one is to reduce the distance of that jump, maybe make it more of a hop. But if that's still just really not working for you, you can take it to a monster walk and then walk it back. And step up. Crazy no. step ups to take off some of that impact. All right. I did not record this last time. <laughs> huh. Eight seconds. Are you ready? Make sure you're in a safe spot to do this. Last round. I am barefoot today, so I'm gonna take it slower. <laughs> this is the only movement where I'm like, mm -hmm, barefoot is not as much fun. <laughs> no, it's not. But it is fun to like note how my feet are landing. So that's good for feedback sometimes. Halfway there. Almost there. <laughs> Ten seconds. Ah! <laughs> I'm definitely not going far up now. Well done. Good job. Mm -hmm. Another week down. Oh. Take a second to grab some water. Take it out. We're gonna start cool down. We all did awesome today. All right, one leg out in front of the other, reach down, opposite arm, opposite leg. We do a longer warm up. We don't do enough of a cool down, so I expect you to do that on your own. Make sure you keep moving throughout the day so you do not get too sore. Switch sides. Post workout is a great time for you to work on those tails and rails and really work out those muscles that are tight. Slowly come up, reach down for the toes, chin to chest, hold this way, whatever feels good. Just chin to chest, so. Slowly roll up. Ooh. All right, one leg up. <laughs> These workouts are always challenging. Quick size. Mm 
We have one more week of you versus you. Then we're gonna switch it up into mobility for a month. Try and work out those areas that we need to. And then we're gonna hit the vault again. So be ready for that. All right, arms swing forward. Take it back. During mobility, we'll really focus on the tails and rails, the cars, and then we'll focus on breathing mechanisms and um, pressure management over and under. But we got one more week of this, so side to side. All right, y'all, we are done for the day. Thank you for joining me. Tomorrow is Wednesday. We'll do total body strength training.